five, four, three, two, showtime. Good evening to all the listeners out there. First of all, you know, on Fit FM 96.7, Facebook, YouTube, Primal 4K app. Welcome to Primal Sports Center. I'm your host, Kane the Schwab Watson. As you can see, I'm in studio by myself right now today as my co-host, usual co-host, Dale Parm is away on national duty, coaching the national table tennis team in Dominica Republic. For the past two weeks, he has been there coaching the senior team and now he's there coaching the junior team. So he'll be back in studio next week and uh, you know, I want to wish him all the best and next week he'll give us a rundown on what went on in Dominica Republic as the table tennis team is over there flying their trade, flying the flag high, and it's tough over there, but he'll give us a breakdown next week of how things are and how we, our chances are, have been, because we know we're not doing too well, but I mean, there's some glimmer of hope to better days of Jamaica activities in the future. Uh, we have this week's lineup. I mean, we have the primal boss, controversial boss, sorry, in studio. He'll be on at the midway point, and we'll have a one hour show today and kick things off. You know what's going on in the world of sports? The hot topic is the NBA, where we left off last show trying to jostle for positions of say who will get in and who will not get in. And my predictions are right. As I said, Lakers or Golden State Warriors, one will get in and one will not get in. As we see, it's a changing of the guard right now, as a lot of the, the old heads having a tough time in the playoffs from Kevin Durant. I mean, Curry is out. LeBron is on the verge of a sweep. And we see where the young guns like Anthony Edwards stepping up. I mean, Shea Giltris playing good for OKC. Tyrese Halliburton on the East. I mean, the Magic and the Cavs locking a two-hour battle. But just to break down basketball for you, which is going on every day. I mean, right now, OKC, is, as I said, is locked in a battle with you know, the Pelicans. Right now, it seems that they're going up for a three-love lead. But earlier today, the Magic and the Cavs, as I said, are locked in a 2 all battle. Defending home court, Cavs went up 2 love. Magic's responding, winning two games on their home court. So sometimes, you know, home court is an advantage. You know, we see that series might go to seven games. And I think the Cleveland Cal Cavaliers will outlast the Orlando Magic. And the winner of that matchup will play the winner of the Boston Miami matchup. We see last year where Miami got in as eight seed and ousted Boston Celtics. And this year, again, it's one all playing without some of the, the stars, like Terry Rozier, Jimmy Butler, do out to injury, but Miami plays team basketball. And I think coach Eric Spolsa doesn't get enough credit as one of the top coaches in the league. We see where, you know, people know that I'm not much of a, a Doc Rivers fan and they're down 2-1 to the Pacers. But back to the Boston Miami series, game three is coming up later at 5 p.m. and I think that I think Boston will, will, will turn it up because Boston has the best record and has the better team. Um, didn't get much test during the regular season and see where they're getting a test now. And I said from a full team, Miami Heat. I mean, playing team basketball, but I think Miami should get the better. Sorry, Boston should get the better of Miami in in that series, but you can't can't underestimate. The Miami Heat, because I said, when you, once you have a, a good coach, an experienced coach who has been there and done that, and I mean, Boston should have their hands full, and I think this is a good test for them. Um, uh, yeah, should make it out the East. As I said, Boston are title favorites and should go all the way to the finals. On the West side, I have Denver as favorites. But before we touch on the West, to close off with the East, Knicks leading 76 as two and defending their home court advantage so far, winning the first two games of the series, 76 ers punch back winning their game. So that series is heading for, I mean, a tough battle again. We say Joel Embiid dropping 50 points. I mean, Knicks again playing team basketball, Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson. I mean, I have some in people coming back from injury. Julius Randle out for the season. Mitchell Robinson back from injury, but I think the Knicks will get the better of the 76 ers due to how deep the Knicks are in terms of one through eight, because you know, playoff is more of right, an uh, eight man roster. And I think that the Knicks will get the better of the 76ers. On the other hand, Pacers box, Giannis, Giannis out, Giannis the best team. Player on the box team, Damon Lillard trying to hold up the Pacers, but we see where the Pacers won game three in overtime. That should be a long test of series, but I don't know, I don't know. 
I'm going with the Pacers in that one. Due to the fact that I think Doc Rivers is an overrated coach. And, I mean, it should go deep. I said at least game six, game seven. So I have Boston going through to play Cavaliers in the next round. Knicks to play Pacers in the next round. Bucks going to exit this one early. Even with Giannis out, it's going to be tough, tough, tough for the Bucks. But I said a lot left to play. And I say a lot of these series going game six, game seven. I think Boston will will run over my man, don't lose another game. As I said, still can't count up my man. But the East seems to be closer than the West. So we'll take it to the West side where we think that, you know, we're players, teams, sorry, jostling for positions because, you know, with all the records and going into the final games, everybody was jostling for position. You see where, as I said, OKC finished on top. Then Denver finished second. Minnesota finished third. The Clippers finished fourth. Dallas finished fifth. Sixth place was the Phoenix Suns. Get beating Minnesota, who they're now locked in. Suns won three games in the regular season, and now in the first one is down 3 0. Seventh place, Lakers finishing seventh place, where I think that they should have avoided the Denver Nuggets. And in eighth place, the Pelicans beat Kings for that final spot. Going into the West now, you see where I said start off with the defending champions. Denver Nuggets up three love against the Lakers. And we see where the Lakers led each game going into the half. And again, the defending champions found away. I said one through eight is a deeper team. And I see where the Lakers kind of run out of gas and not getting much help for LeBron and AD. Where, I mean, as I said, it's going to be tough for them. Really and truly, they should have avoided the Denver Nuggets. But I mean, you have to get in and they got in. And, it's 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 tough for the Lakers. I don't see them coming back from that field of deficit. And game four is tonight. I mean, you can tune in later on. I said after the Miami Boston game at five, we have the Denver Lakers to close out today. But Denver is up three up three zero. Minnesota also up three zero. Anthony Edwards to me is the star of the playoffs so far and looks like the man at the moment. And it seems to be the passing of the guard as. KD led Suns with Devin Booker and Bradley Beal. I mean, they're due to get, I mean, a combined $150 million next year just for those three. Suns roster. I mean, Grayson Allen is, didn't play game three due to injury. A key piece missing, but yet still, the Suns with those big three. I expected more from them. And Minnesota is going to be a tough team to play. That Denver Minnesota matchup, as with both teams leading three year, I see them both completing the sweep. I mean, no team has ever come back from a three love deficit and we see where okc now is playing pelicans and i have them going up three love today again and that might be a next sweep so we see where in the first round of the playoffs on the west side we might have three sweeps and on the east we have series going all the way because two two pacers box might even go two two nicks up two one as i said boston miami locked one out and the tough series in the West is the Clips versus the Mavs. I would say where Luka Doncic is leading the Mavericks, Kyrie Irving and that cast. And I mean, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, James Harden. Again, another big three that seems to not getting it together. And it's going to be, it's going to be tough for, for them. But I think a lot is left in that series. That series, that series might go six games, but I have Dallas going in. They finish the season hot. And you know, you nothing beats farm and they were they were, they were the closest season gelling as a team and i think they are the dark horses on the west side to try and host denver everybody has denver we see where nicola jokic and jamal Murray is playing superb with the castle aaron garden michael porter jr shooting lights out kcp i mean christian brown coming off the bench peyton watson i mean reggie jackson they have experience and they went all the way last year and with experience, same coach, same court team, it's going to hard to beat the Denver Nuggets. On the side of Minnesota, the length, Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns back from injury, Anthony Edwards, as I said, Mike Conley, that experience team as well. <coughs> um, defense, McDaniels, I mean, Mikel Alexander. So I have Denver going through to play in Minnesota. And that's going to be a tough matchup, but I have to go with the, with the champs right there. 
uh, as I said, both should close out the series come game four. I mean, because you know you can't you can't ease up. There's no easing up in the playoffs, and I mean, right now both teams that that's going to be tough and locked in a battle. But I have to go with the defending champions, and I think the MVP of the season, Nikola Jokic. I mean, in the next half of the bracket, we have OKC, Oklahoma City Thunder playing the Pelicans. As I said going up three love to date. I mean, game three is going on right now, and the Clips Mavs. I have Dallas winning that series 4-2. And I have Dallas, Denver for the Western Conference Finals. And that should be, I mean, everybody knows, I mean, Luka Doncic is my favorite player in the league right now. But, I mean, two European stars, Luka Doncic, Nikola Jokic, leading the way in the NBA. Some people think even Shea Gilchrist is should be the MVP. And I mean, he's, he's, he's playing good, but comes these, come these players, I mean, the next round should be tougher. So the Pelicans are injured without the star player, Zion Williamson. Brandon Ingram just came back from injury. So it's going to be tough for the Pelicans. They're out there fighting. But I mean, that young team with an average age of probably around 24, 23 with a youngsters, even a, even a young coach, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for them with the experience going up against I have Dallas going through with Luca Doncic, just said, Kyrie Irving, and I think Dallas is a better rounded team right now than OKC, which is number one seed, but yet still, you can't sleep on a number one seed, but I think Dallas and Denver should go all the way. And on, as I said earlier, on the east side, Boston should get the better of Miami. I have Cleveland beating Orlando Magic. So Boston, Cleveland, you know, we have the Knicks, Pacers. It might be a Boston Knicks Western Conference Final. I mean, Madison Square Garden is up and running live again. It's good to see the Knicks back in the playoffs and one of the big historic franchises, although they don't win much. I don't understand why. Mm -hmm. Knicks remind me of the Dallas Cowboys, although the Dallas Cowboys win. But the Knicks out there, I think the Knicks is, should get better at 76 although Joel Embiid is, is playing like a star, I tell you, one of the best players in the league when healthy. One of my friends told me that Joel Embiid is the best player in the league. And I mean, he's definitely had a, has an argument with that. But I think Nikola Jokic is the best player in the league. Luka Doncic is right there. Embiid is right there. I mean, Shea as a youngster coming up, Anthony Edwards. Um, so some interesting basketball left to play. And as I said, every day we have the playoffs. It's the playoffs, basketball defense the refs letting them play i mean the regular season we see a lot of joking around and justin but these teams are are definitely out there fighting 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 i like to see a friend even asked me what does this mean for lebron's legacy if he gets swept i don't think it will affect his legacy i mean even going up against the defending champions and i mean getting swept last year again coming this year again it's uh, it, it's tough some people have, have him as the goat. I don't. He's definitely a great player. I doesn't. I, I don't think this will harm his legacy much, because I mean he, he has done it all. He has been to the top of the mountain four times. I mean, not many players win four rings. Uh, yeah. So even so, and to the pressure LeBron has come under throughout his whole career. I mean, thirty-nine year old playing twenty plus seasons. I mean playing for the biggest franchise in the league, Los Angeles Lakers, even winning a title there, even though it was in the, it's a bubble title. <laughs> I still have, still have to give him credit. So I don't think this will hurt him legacy much. And I mean, again, losing to a Denver Nuggets team that is well-tuned, one of, one of the best teams I've seen over the years in basketball, doesn't affect his career much. It will affect the Lakers. And I mean, they have to shake up. So not much left in the tank for LeBron. I, th I give him one, maybe two more seasons. I know he's waiting on his son. I give him one. Yeah, uh, Peter, Peter in the ground, background saying you give him one more season. And I think LeBron can play two more seasons because he's, he's healthy, take care, take care of his body. I mean, you see him playing at a high level, same way. Uh, he needs more pieces around him because the Lakers and the bench. How can you get zero points from um, probably a third best player team, D Lo. <sighs> Players coming off the bench, zero production off the bench. I mean, it's it's not look, looking good for the Lakers. And 
you definitely need help. As I said, with, with the well round, more rounded teams like Denver and Minnesota, you see, see where players coming off the bench for Minnesota. You have Nazri, I think he's the sixth man of the year. For Denver, you have Christian Brown, as I said, Peyton Watson, Reggie Jackson experience. I mean, so I think those two teams are, are, are two of the best teams left. As I said, from one through eight, Boston is probably one of the best teams. And I mean, I think Boston should go all the way to the finals. And funny enough, I have Denver, Boston finals and Denver repeating. Although I would like Luca to go all the way, because I mean, Luca Doncic is playing like a star and at his young age, probably playing basketball, professional basketball for, for over 10 years, playing as professional basketball in Spain as a teenager. And then coming into league now, league lead, leading scorer. I mean, definitely in the MVP shout as well. Although I think it should go to Nikola Jokic. As I said, Shea Gilchrist is in the mix as well. We know MB was in the mix, but due to injury and the rule of you have to play a, a certain amount of games to be validated for that title. So I think Nikola Jokic should get it again. Should get it again. I mean, leading. Denver to one of the best records in the NBA. I mean, OKC has a tiebreak room. That's, all, that's why OKC was the number one seed. And again, as I said, a lot of basketball left to play. Uh, it, it, it's going to be tough. But my pick is Denver to go all the way, definitely. And I said, I have three first round sweeps. OKC sweeping the Pelicans, Denver sweeping the Lakers later. First qualifiers for the semifinal on the west side. Minnesota sweeping the Suns. And funny enough, Suns defeated Minnesota three or three times in the regular season. And now down three, oh, man, it's tough. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the Suns. I don't know what does this mean for KD. And I don't think KD is much of a leader. As we see where, I mean, it's more of Devin Booker's team. I mean, he went through Warriors, one rings, Curry's team. He left OKC when it was his team going to his, his rivals. It doesn't look good for KD, but KD is a special talent and one of the best scorers out there. But, I mean, coming up against a hungry Minnesota team led by Anthony Edwards, which who is a highlight reel, and to me, will be the face of the NBA come couple of years. I mean, between him and Jamarant, who should be back next year, and when healthy, Jamarant is definitely one, one to look out for. Yeah, so, and again, you have, you have young Wemby coming up. Who should get rookie of the year? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, looking, looking, looking good. The league is, is in proper hands because these youngsters coming up. Jason Tatum is probably just 25, 26. But look at, I mean, Donovan Mitchell for Cleveland is, is a star. Nick's Jalen Brunson is playing. I mean, Tyrese Halliburton for the Pacers. Yeah, Giannis is still in the league. I mean, he should be healthy. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know. I don't look like the first one. Although I have, have the pace as getting a bit of the box right now. So yeah, yeah, the league league is looking good, and right now it's it's exciting basketball defense. If you look at the scores, and if you're if you're a betting man, most of the games are going under. Like a nineties playoffs game where the scores are 97, 95. I mean one hundred three, ninety seven. So we do have the high scoring output as we have in the regular season, but. These playoffs are, are very interesting. And I said, quality defense, the refs are letting them play. I mean, yeah, yeah. Fun, fun, fun basketball. But that, that should wrap up basketball talk for now. And I mean, as I said, next week we have a roundup to see if my picks are correct. As I said, I am the Schwab. <laughs> so we are going, we're going to have Denver, Minnesota next round and Mavs, OKC. And on the East, as I said, Boston, Cleveland, and I'm going with the Knicks versus the Pacers. And we see how the, those teams match up. And ultimately, my pick is Denver versus Boston in the finals. And Denver to go back to back. All right, that wraps up basketball for now. And we're going to touch on football. As we see, some of the major leagues basically have their winners already. La Liga, Real Madrid should win the title. And Syria, Inter Milan has already closed out the title, winning their 20th title. And Bundesliga, surprise first winners, Bayer Leverkusen, who is still undefeated right now and already wrapped up the title. 
and I said a special, special team. You know, when you look back in the history books and you see where teams won in back in the day, like Nottingham Forest and I mean Red Star, Bucharest and Ajax and those teams. When we look back 30 years from now, we'll be like, that by Leverkusen team was special. And I think Javi Alonso, who is on board, staying with Bayer Leverkusen next year. We see next year where they're coming to the Champions League, although they're in the Europa League now, trying to do the triple, they already won the league. They're trying to win the Europa League and they're trying to win the DF Cup in Germany. So we have Bayer Leverkusen undefeated and to finish undefeated in a league is only few clubs have ever done that before. We know Arsenal did that already, Juventus did that already. And I think this Bayer Leverkusen team should finish the season undefeated in the league for sure i mean the tough test would be in the europa league and uh, and i think that they are the form side and should go all the way epl now is undecided and we we'll see where it was a three horse race and liverpool decide to just take themselves out of the race i mean we saw signs of it i mean down one love to sheffield united at home they eventually won that match but they showed signs of playing horrible football lost to crystal palace draw 2-2 two -two with west ham drop out to the europa league getting three love at home to atalanta i mean not looking good for liverpool and finishing the season in awful woeful form and jorgen Klopp's final season i mean not going out not not looking very well so as i said liverpool just take themselves out of the race totally. And we have a two-hour race with Arsenal and Man City. And right now, Man City looking like they don't plan to drop any more points. And we've seen it in the past where they finished the league on runs of 18 matches, 14 matches unbeaten. And seeing that they're now out of the Champions League, all focus is on the EPL, and they're going straight to the finish line. I see Arsenal right there with them and it's going to be who doesn't buck the toe because as i said liverpool bought them to not only once not only twice <laughs> about three times and i mean they, they have just taken themselves out of the race but it's between arsenal and city i have city within winning past the post although i wouldn't mind a new winners arsenal that would that would be fun and i mean majority of jamaicans are Man United fans. And right now, I think the Man U fans would prefer Man City to win. They're noisy neighbors, although the city of Manchester is, is now blue because Man U is, is in shambles, I tell you. They're, they're lucky to get through the FA Cup. We're up three love cruising against Coventry, and we have the likes of uh, two reggae boys playing for Coventry, Latiba there and Casey Pan. They came back three all and lost on penalties. I mean, so they will play. Man City in the FA Cup final and Man City looking like they're going for the double. And I don't see Man City easing up against Man U, especially. But I mean, the EPL title race is going down to the wire. Arsenal is leading the league. Man City has a game in hand. And I think Man City should just run to the finish line and win another league. And Man City is been, has been dominant in the EPL in recent times. Over the past years, 10 years, I think, they have like six titles or so. And, and that's definitely a dominating form. Most people had them as favorites for the Champions League, but big bad Real Madrid and onto Champions League, which the semi final is coming up this week, where we see the likes of Munich will play Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. As I said in the show earlier, most, the bookies had Arsenal as a favorite. I, I couldn't explain it. An Arsenal fan even calling on the show and be like, oh, Arsenal, Arsenal, and people, Arsenal were the favourites, but I didn't see it at all. Bayern Munich, as I predicted, outlasted Arsenal. It was, a, it was a good two legs. Real Madrid outlasted Man City. Went to penalties, and you know, the dreaded penalties. I mean, any, any, it's flip of a coin. Both teams played well over the two legs. I think Real Madrid adjusted more. I mean, Man City at home. It's tough to beat and they know they had to go in there and i mean basically sit behind the book football because man city and pep guardiola is more of a position based side and got chances didn't take them 
went to the penalties, dreaded penalties, and Real Madrid owns the Champions League with, I think, 14 titles, the most ever. Uh, I mean, it's it's tough. Tough, but Bayern Munich, Real Madrid. I have Real Madrid, nothing better, a Bayern Munich. And on the other side of the bracket, Wednesday, where that match will play Wednesday, is Dortmund, who got the better of Atletico Madrid, and PSG, who got the better of Barcelona. And that starts on Wednesday. And I have PSG getting the better of Dortmund. So we'll have a Real Madrid PSG Champions League final. And rumor has it, Kylian Mbappe will leave PSG at the end of the season. Not rumor. Kylian Mbappe will leave PSG at the end of the season to go to Real Madrid. So can you imagine PSG winning the title, their first Champions League title, with Kylian Mbappe beating Real Madrid in the finals, and then well, they couldn't Swap win it when they had the big three. They couldn't win it when they had the big three. They couldn't win it with Ibrahimovic. Yeah. I mean, Cavani and likes. And I think this is PSG's best chance of winning. About time. And I think they will get the better of Dortmund. They're in better form. <clears throat> PSG are to wrap up the French League as well. Sorry, to, we didn't mention it earlier. One of the five top leagues in Europe. So PSG. Uh, PSG going to the final to play Real Madrid. And I have Kylian Mbappe writing that story. Winning. The Champions League. On his finale. Winning the yeah. Ballon d'Or. Uh, uh, although I think I, I would give uh, Messi again. How would he get the Ballon d'Or? What Mbappe do this year if he get the Ballon d'Or? He's going to win Champions League. Oh, oh, well, well, perhaps, perhaps, well, perhaps. perhaps. Champions League and perhaps. He win, um, but the Ballon d'Or is up for grabs, right? No, nobody, no, and, no football has accepted. And if Real Madrid wins, I think it will go to Jude Bellingham. So we have Jude Bellingham um, versus Kylian Mbappe for the Ballon d'Or this year. And I have both teams going to the final. Real Madrid, PSG. And whoever wins that match, yeah. Well, we to me, it's anybody's Ballon d'Or. Yeah. To be honest with you, I, yeah. I don't see no outstanding but, but, football. But we have, we have Euros later in the year. And, mm. I mean, France, yeah, we will see. If France win the Euros, or if England win the Euros, they have a shot. But I think mm. this Champions League final, I have PSG going all the way, beating Real Madrid, Kylian Mbappé scoring at Real Madrid, celebrating, and then swapping towns, going to Real Madrid the next season. Reasonable. Reasonable, Reasonable, Reasonable. prediction. So I, 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 I have that. That's the storyline that I have <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind Real Madrid just winning and just... Well, you are the show of it. I am the show of But, you know, the storylines, that's, that's what sports is about. And sports is interesting. All these storylines, as I said, in the NBA, in football, we see, as I said, with the EPL, it's going down to the wire. And I'm sure Man City, Arsenal, there's a, not, there's a tale to tell. My computer still says um, Man, Man City, City will win. Yeah, Man City, yeah even Man though City. Arsenal have a one-point lead now. Yeah, yeah. But my computer is still saying this, the yeah. algorithm. Once City are, wins out, yeah. they will win the title. There and you I go. Think with four games to go, yes, City will not stop there too. City will win the league, and City will win the FA Cup. Doing the, the English league is Dust interesting. League. If only it were a bit more equal, you can have five strong, super strong teams dominating. A, a, a yeah. They, they yeah. came the twelve. I think a big it's six, but yeah. there's no such thing as a big six. Mm. I, Tottenham, nah. Manu, you? What are you saying? Nah. It's a big four. It's. A, you have Aston Villa. I, I think it's you have Aston Villa. Any? No, in the big six, but they're, no, they're, no, they're, you have them in the big four. They're going to finish. They're fourth, no, no but do you have them in the big four of English teams? That's just a title. I don't have. I don't think there are four big clubs in England. Okay. I think it's a more of a big one. It's Man City. Yeah. I was through Liverpool. I mean, Liverpool just take themselves out of the race. One second. Liverpool just no, drop out of Europa League. So, I mean, right now, biggest side in in in. Epel is Man City. Man U is, is playing horrible football. Chelsea is the mid table team. Tottenham is top star with flip flop. So Liverpool, as I said, with Klopp now going out, and I think they will sell a couple of players. Um, Van Dyke is on the decline. I mean, Salah, some of them might even go to, to Saudi. So I don't look for much next year from Liverpool. I think Chelsea will come better next year. That young core team, but Chelsea is injury ridden and I mean, can't stay healthy with that core, spending a lot of money. So, I don't see Chelsea posing most of a threat next year again. Newcastle might be there, as I said, another topsy turvy side. So, I just see City dominating that league for the next three to four years. Arsenal coming strong, I said, have an impressive season. Probably scored the most goal and can't see the least, but at the end. That city, that well oil machine who finished the league with so much, I said, unbeaten stretch, a run of games. So, hats off to Arsenal. They have, have an impressive season again. Champions League, 
going to the quarterfinals, losing to a uh, Bayern Munich, who is a perennial Champions League powerhouse. So, yeah, next year should be interesting again for EPL, but for I don't EPL. see this big six, big 40. No, it's no, just me. For me, um, we, we, we're going to make a live link with the coach Dale Prime in uh -huh. the Dominican Republic in about five minutes. Oh, yeah. So, forgive me for coming off screen, but I have to set up the call. Yeah, you know, Prime is a very dynamic situation. Yeah, so anything yeah. can happen. You know? I'm surprised you didn't take the time out to remember us. Well, well, because I've heard, heard from him you know, you know. in weeks. He's just having a blast down there in the yard. I guess he'll be on after sports coverage. Ah, uh, yeah, which is coming up right now right about now greetings sports, sports coming your time um all the way back from my trip to china i was away doing some advanced level table tennis training and as i my, my good co-hosts here just experienced a while ago the level is higher <laughs> <laughs> anyway um you know i went to china uh, i've been to china quite a few times now but i last went to china five years ago i had a few matches but I can tell you now that China, in five years, has developed so much that it's, it's freaked me out. The size of the cities and the, the, every car is electric in Guangzhou. Every car in Guangzhou is electric. 90% of the cars. You know, it's like for an electric car, electric thing, no sound. Yeah, yeah you just walk across the street and the car just swoosh right past you. Yeah, so you, you can get knocked down. Yeah. Anyway, I was lucky to make it back in one piece. <laughs> um, um, I, was, I was lucky to make it back in one piece. But did you know that um, cricket has a new president? No. Cricket has a new president. They just had cricket elections. This, this thing tripping out, you know. One second. Testing, testing. Good to go. Testing. No, we have no sound. Okay. Cricket just had the elections. And um, a new president is there, Mr. Billy Haven, who has been president for 11 years now, lost to his deputy, vice president, kick with a man foot. Yeah. Uh, Billy, I don't, don't think Billy too pleased with it, but he lost by a whopping ratio of two to one to Mr. Dr. Donovan Bennett in, in, a, in, in um, his vice president. <laughs> now, um, I don't know if it's uh, going to be the theme of the story where your, your vice president kicks away your foot, but football have elections coming up where the vice president is contesting against the president. So there seems to be a trend here where your good friends um, keep your friends close, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, the host of the World Cup in the Caribbean will be the West Indies and USA, which is kind of strange. Is it going to be in the West Indies or the USA? Because, you know, travel arrangements can be quite difficult for people who, who come from Caribbean and those countries to go and play in the USA. So I'm not sure why we have this joint agreement between West Indies and USA for cricket. To me, if we're having USA hosting World Cup, let them host the World Cup. USA is a huge country. If West Indies hosting World Cup, but I don't see it being joint. I'm not even in favor of Mexico, USA, and Canada hosting the, 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 the next World Cup either. I just think it, it, it takes away from what the World Cup is. World Cup must have a host with a culture. You know, we're playing the World Cup in Mexico. Yeah. We're playing in China. Yeah. We're playing in Russia. I don't like this idea of you play here, you play there. It might give one group a, a better chance than, than another group. Um, so I'm not, I don't like it. The next thing I don't like, I see that cricket has appointed Usain Bolt as the ambassador for the Cricket World Cup or as an ambassador for the Cricket World Cup. No, no. I know Bolt used to play a little catch up cricket. <laughs> yeah. But is Bolt really the you couldn't find a cricketer? Yeah. I think you should find a cricketer. I don't think Chris Gale Chris Gale would be a good ambassador. Chris Gale is a huge ambassador in India. Did yeah. you know that Chris Gale is more famous in India than Bolt? Yeah. Easily. Yeah. In, Chris Gale is a superstar in Easily. so so listen, let me come up with some ideas. West Indies cricket man. Why Bolt? And Bolt, you have your time to do your running thing, man. Yeah, when yeah. is your season? Deal with your thing, brethren. Olympics coming up. Time to deal with that. I think that overexposure, it, it, it's hard for a sportsman, you know. Um, Ken, you used to be in the limelight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in the limelight. It can be hard to miss the limelight still, yeah. but, but Mr. Bolt, man, make somebody else go do that, that work, as far as I'm concerned. You know? Um, I, I, I had a drive the other day um, from Ocherius to, to Kingston. 
and coming off the hill from um to go down towards that linstead valley there yeah. um do you know what the speed limit is 80. it's 80 kilometers per hour Brethren, I tried to come off that hill with my foot on the bridge. And 80. the car cannot go 80. Cannot the car cannot go 80. Every 10 seconds, it gets to 90. Yeah. You, you go 10 seconds and stop, 10 seconds and stop. Everybody else is whooshing past me. Yeah. And this is what is going to get me into trouble because I, um, the police can just reliably wait on the hill and just pick the person who they want to pick yeah. out. Yeah. It's unfair. I believe the speed limit on that entire... It's the, that north-south corridor to me, you know, is possibly the fastest strip in the entire country. Yeah. Why is the speed limit 80? My goodness, man, 100 kilometers. The car just runs. Come on. Yeah. There's, you cannot drive at 80 kilometers on the highway. I, I, I dare say, if I had a bicycle, I would probably exceed <laughs> it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. But I think the police need to raise the speed limit come on, off that hill. I mean, I find it silly to see them sit down there with the radar trying to think everybody's going over 80. Yeah. Trust me. Time them, time them, 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 them have a more logical uh, speed limit. Now, on, still on football, I see here where Craig Butler is saying that Leon might come back and play for the team if certain conditions are met. You know, him saying that boy, if 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 those conditions are met, and if Phoenix Club has more say, Phoenix, you know has more say in the composition of the team he may well but craig man get it right man yeah i mean on a serious craig i'm a bridging but but seriously do you really believe that that leon bailey who hasn't done much for jamaica he's done a lot for aston villa brilliant goal against um arsenal yeah. the other day and 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 good performance good performance, good performance right and and doing well doing well for arsenal but i mean you haven't for, for, for aston but he hasn't done really very well for jamaica so I don't know that Craig is in a position to be calling the shots, as it were, my friend. Next thing now, a little bit of table tennis. Is Marlong the greatest table tennis of all time? I mean, having just one World Cup, probably his third World Cup, probably have three World Championships already, probably have three medals already. Probably. Yeah, I don't know, no, I definitely. He has the longest 67 weeks, the number one player in the world. Um, there's no doubt. Achievement for achievement. That's the greatest player of all time. He got to the final against Gloria the other day and was down three love. Did you see the match? No. He was down three love and I gave up on the match. Come back 15, 20 minutes later, the game's still going on. Marlon 3 1, 3 2, 3 all, then 4 3. Mm -hmm. Greatest of all time. I was really impressed with his play. The man is developing skills at 36. Who who learned more things at 36? Me. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, you yeah. might be the Jamaican God. Yeah. Who to say? Um, yeah, but I, I mean, the question now, China have a problem now. Uh, as who will they play in the Olympics? Who will China play in the Olympics? You have Fan Zhendong, who was world number one the whole the last two, three years. You have Wang Chu Chin, the new number one. Well, and now you have well, Malang, the greatest, extending his legacy. And, and to go to the Olympics now, do you, how do you tell Marlon he will not be able to play in this Olympics? What's in your thing? Why, why are you in the singles? I think that he should play. <laughs> but it's going yes. to be tough. It's going to be tough. Who is, who, is, who is not going to play? It's Fan Jinong. And... Fan Jinong is not going to play because Fan Jinong has had a bad last six months. He's lost more matches than he's lost in his entire six years. But with no China who... Pays out athletes. And, I know, I know. I mean, China Kong likes to... is the yes, the head of the yes, the snake yes, right yes. Now. But, but to not but, let him play, yes, that might just put him into retirement. But the world like would Malang. like Malang to try for third Olympics. I we know the young gun is number one in the world. Yeah, yeah. By a landslide. By a landslide. One, two, queen. So, will be so, number one so for the how rest do you, of the year. Who do you pick for that second spot? Yeah, and only two persons can yes. play the singles. Yes. It's going to be a tough deal. And, and the, say the, tragedy, mm -hmm. the tragedy is the world should get to see it. Mm -hmm. the, real, the real villain is the Olympic Association and for, for well, allowing China it's only, it's two only two spots. Let's yeah. be fair. Yeah. If, if we had Usain Bolt and, 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 um, and, and, and the Beast, mm -hmm. And we had um, Seville running well. Do we tell one of these three guys not to run? Yeah. Do we tell Asafa Powell, you don't run in the Olympics because Bolt and the Seville, Beast are there? Yeah. It's really unfair in table tennis, you know. Think about it. 
the world deserves. Especially as defending champion. I think yes, that Marlon yes. should at least yes as defending champion. Give the man a wild card then, yeah, man. Give, give the man a wild card. Yeah, yeah. There no player will feel bad. If we take out what they don't, they don't want to channel the podium one, two, three. I know, I know, but at the same time, they are one, two, Other three. sports. Let can, us be fair. Can feel yes. three at least. Jamaica got three good long jumpers, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And and they will all get to jump. Yeah. But but and, and we have three good sprinters in two hundred yeah. and one hundred in the women. Just like in the past where we finished one, two, two. That's correct. Yeah, so so, so why not I, let China have why not let China three, have, three have three individuals in So wrapping up sports commentary, I have a little golf story. Mm -hmm. Um that um this husband and wife, young husband and wife, they were they were playing a little bit of golf. And one one they, they, the wife takes a swing at the ball and, and it flies over into somebody's house and smashes the glass, goes into the, the, the window. So um they, they they go humbly up with the you know to try to retrieve the ball and they, they, they knock on the door, knock, knock, knock. And the guy comes out and says, Hello, did you hit the ball in here? Did you break my glass? They say, yes, we're so sorry. The man says, no, man, don't feel sorry. I'm a genie. I was trapped inside the bottle, inside the house, and I can't get out And for how many years, and the ball just break through the glass, and I'm free. I'm free. So let me grant you two wishes, two wishes and, and, and can you, you get two wishes, three wishes, really. I get one wish, you get one wish. We get another wish. Hello, please stay on the line. Please stay on the line. Yeah, so you get granted three wishes. Um, and so the, the husband said, okay, well, I want to take my wish. The genie says, the guy, the genie says, your first wish, um, what do you want? The husband said, make me the richest man in the world. I want millions of dollars, millions and billions of dollars. And the, 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 the guy says, uh, the genie says, so granted. Then he turned to the wife and said, your wish now, what you want? And she said, um, make me i i also want a, a house and i want land and i want some cars and a boat in my name and all this kind of the, the, the genie said so said so done and then they said he said well it's time for my wish give me give me my wish and they, the guy says okay what's your wish and him say i've been locked up in the buckle for for several years yeah. um please my wish is that um i haven't seen a woman in years let me go upstairs and make love to your wife and so the guy says, boy, we get money and we get land. He said, honey, you're in? And she says, yes, man, it's a good deal. So the guy goes upstairs and he enjoys himself with the wife. He's there for half an hour, one hour. And, he, you know, he's there and he's tired. And, and he comes down with the wife and she's all disheveled. And the husband and him look for him and say, how old are you guys? And the guy says, I'm 35. My wife is 35 as well. And he said, you guys are 35. Are you still believing genies? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, that's sports commentary. What say you? And by the way, we have Mr. Dale Parham, the coach of the Jamaica team in Dominican Republic. Dale, are you there? Not hearing you well at all, bro. Hold on one second. Um, yes, we can hear you now. Ah, we can hear the clapping in the background. So tell me, how did Jamaica do in the Caribbean Championships? Um, Both senior it, and junior it, so far. It's not pretty. It no. wasn't pretty, I should say. No. It wasn't pretty. Uh, the, the best result so far is a fifth place uh, um, finish for the boys under 15. A uh, couple of... ...is around a 16 and a 9th for three of the under 19 boys and two of the under 19. So Dale, you're not happy with the performance? You sound good. I mean, coming fifth, coming fifth is a good, good thing. Yes. Hello, Mr. Perm fifth in in a boys under fifteen. That's a good finish. Okay, we seem to be having technical yeah. problems there. Yeah. Next we, week, we, yeah. Next week, he'll give us a full rundown of performance, as I said, both from the senior and the junior team. As he said, right now it's not looking pretty, but I mean, there must be a silver lining and looking to the future, we can pick out some of the answers and I mean, improve on their level for upcoming championships. So, I mean, we're having some technical difficulties 
getting through to Mr. Perm, but you all know him as my esteemed co-host, so he's off on national duty, so next week he'll show Yeah, be Dale didn't sound too happy mm -hmm. with the results. I'm, I'm sorry, the, the, the connection was not, mm -hmm. was not good, but he, he didn't sound happy at all. So next week he'll be more... So Ken, let me, let me ask you something. Um, you're, you're normally on the team. You weren't on the team this year. What, what was the situation? I, I'm, I'm, I'm retired. You're retired. Yeah. So you're going to leave Jamaica to get beat up like this? Uh... I mean... Right now, I'm thinking of playing next year, though. Okay. I'm of well, as I said, right now, I'm not going to play. You're waiting on a change in the administration? Yeah, I'm waiting on a change in the administration. Well, yes, I, I think that... Um, Nothing is going on, and I can't because, invest my time into... As you know, Jamaica, I have the players who can represent us well, you know, and it's a shame that yeah. politics or whatever is keeping yeah. you guys from playing. Yeah. But we don't mean to use Primal as a springboard, you know, no, but no. I just talked to Dale, and I had to ask you. Yeah, you well, know. We, we always try to highlight Tibetans because... Well, I'm good for Tibetans. Yeah, so but you know, um, it's, it's been a tradition I've been upholding for many years yeah. to be the defender of the Jamaican flag. Yeah. So it really peel, pains me yeah. to hear these results. Yeah, and I see, I see some, some results there, and I see some players that I know from the past, yes. from all over the Caribbean. And I see where I still think of what I've left in the tank yeah. can push me to I mean, a podium finish. All right. Well, in singles and team events. If you need any help, let me know. You know. Uh, if you need help, let me know. You know. Because well, down there in Ghana, Guyana finished third. Both it, on the yeah, it's impossible side. to get to a good level without having quality competition around you. And yeah. therefore, and I even playing more tournaments in Jamaica, there's no tournament. That's my point. Around. That's my point. I mean, it it is sad though. Yeah. It is sad. So we like to hear the coach's views next week on yeah, what we need to do. There will be in studio. We'll yeah. talk to him about it. Yeah. And he'll, he'll express to the public of what really went on in the air to where the level is and where we need to be and how big is the gap more so on the junior side because you know they are the future are, are the kids and even on the if you look on the other teams all around the Caribbean they have juniors playing at that senior level and playing on the senior team mm. so we need to get our juniors up to that level where they're playing both juniors and seniors because even so I see where the St. Lucia team the same team that play Caribbean seniors is playing Caribbean juniors and a couple years from now, that core of that team will do well in the Caribbean level. Mm. We probably struggle to Why, but St. for Lucia. Jamaica to fall behind a country like St. Lucia, you know? I go to St. Lucia, I can probably walk from one side of the country to the other <laughs> by the end of the day. Nah, and it's, nah, it's hard nah. for me to believe that there are three table tennis players. Yeah, St. Lucia playing good table tennis. Uh, know, big up St. Lucia. And they're investing in their athletes. Yeah, no. They play more tournaments. They have a, I think Teddy, Teddy come from St. Lucia, no? yeah, Teddy Matthews is yeah, from St. Lucia. Yeah. So, he would have made sure his people are right. I want to see where Guyana is right there. Guyana have a quarterfinals. Bobby does have a quarterfinals in mm. the single. Yeah. We know the Spanish teams are the powerhouses within the Trinidad Caribbean. is similar to Jamaica. They have yeah. good players outside of Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carlyle Ascarali is good enough yeah. to make a medal. Yeah, so. but, and um, he's not playing in, in the Caribbeans either. Yeah, so. It's time for the Caribbean to get themselves together, man. Because yeah, yeah. I know Guyana still have good players. Yeah. In New York and yeah. other areas. Okay, and, and, and Christopher Franklin, still good enough. Why is he not on the team? Well, with a Fox Franklin. That... The man good enough, he should be on the team. Yeah, yeah, Come on. So, I mean, I think I Why is table tennis excluding people? Yeah, I guess based on their age, I don't know. <laughs> so over the hill, we're too Yeah, old. yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess. I, I don't know what the fight is for, but yeah. I said next year. And I, I, spoke, to I spoke to the yeah. national champion yeah. and Mark Flick <laughs> said I should, should come and play next year. Yeah, you're owing to some, yeah. some training and I mean, I feel like I leave him out there in the cold all yeah. by himself. Yeah, yeah. Is, but, uh, All the players there, as I said, Ron Lewis, Odinga Mitchell, the manager yeah. yeah. first. And, I mean, they went, they tried and I, I think they saw the level of what they need to do and improve on for next year and I said, Maybe next year I can join him on fine back form. I hope so. And, and I certainly play some so. good TT. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So. All right. I mean, do remember the phone lines are 1-876-552-7406. And that's via WhatsApp only. 1-876-552-7406. Feel free to call in the last 10 minutes of the show and give your, your sports take on, on anything. It could be near your neck of the woods. It could be the NBA. It could be EPL. It could be something I said that you disagree with or you agree <laughs> with. I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, most of the time I, I you know, know what I'm wondering. <clears throat> World Cup cricket is coming to the Caribbean. You're betting how many games you think we'll get in Jamaica? 
probably two. Perhaps none. <laughs> perhaps. What, my, my words. As per, and Bolt as ambassador? Perhaps no, none. No, Perhaps be. none. The, the, the. Let me tell you. Trinidad will get two. Guyana will get. The place in the Grenada will get. Antigua will get. Uh, uh, Barbados will get. Antigua will and get. And I suspect Jamaica. So great, somebody in the park. No, it's not that. It has to do with the value of our currency. Um, and, and I think they, they want to carry the matches to Florida. Because there's a Indian diaspora there and West Indians, and they make money there. A lot of Indians go in Jamaica. Me no, but they, 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 that's that's really why they I want to include you. Say a World Cup match. Yeah. They probably bring you a dead rubber <laughs> kind of match. You know them kind of dead rubber match. Yeah. No, <laughs> Tobina Park, one of the most historic cricket grounds. They, I don't the think they make enough Jamaica. money there. But I think that we should be, we will get at least two matches. All right. Well, well, let's make a bet on that. First bolt I know we'll get one. The, what they usually try to do is carry one to Trelawney mm. and one uh, to thing there. But I think Trelawney, they, they, uh, they'd have a hard time part. removing the goats. Uh, so from, more, more football and party people. I know, I know. I know, I know. I know. Uh, uh, I would say where the football is being played, Jamaican Premier League. I mean, Sabina Park ran last week. Yes, uh, yes. But we need some cricket at Sabina Park, man. Some top level cricket. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get some some cricket. And even I want to touch on the, the, the Leon Bailey thing that you mentioned. Yeah, man, Leon. Why are you telling me that? <clears throat> yeah. For Leon Bailey to play for Jamaica, yeah. conditions apply. That's that's what the headline big, said. And thing. Remember something, you know. We have big Leon Bailey for play for Jamaica. Remember something, you know. One time, there was a time when Craig, the Jamaica came to 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 Butler mm. to talk about Leon Bailey. And him say his son Kyle have to be part of the mix. Yeah. You remember them? Yeah. You remember that? So yeah, Craig, let, Craig, let take over. Craig have what them, what them call in Spanish, like cojones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Craig. Can imagine Craig Butler as the president of the GFF? Yeah, man. Wow. Craig would want a Phoenix team. I, I think that he would probably run a GFF for, for 30 years if he gets to the point. I like Craig's ambition all the same. Yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah. Take, it take ambition mm -hmm. to, to go to a... Craig, the other day, Craig said, maybe a month ago, Craig said that Messi and and um ronaldo are on their way out yeah and the, the leon bailey is going to be the man after that yeah did you you, you know what you know? Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah man craig yeah. craig of ambition man yeah. it, 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 it's 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 playing in the top league in the world yeah and i, mean, and I feel you know that if, if things go according to plan aston villa will be playing european football next year I mean that's a huge platform, Champions you know. Yeah, that, that's a that's a huge for that's a huge platform yeah. because Leon will be playing in Spain. He'll be playing games in hopefully in Italy. Right. I mean that's a huge platform. Yeah, take it to the world. Remember Jamaica can highlight you know, so. the, the, the man said Jamaica can shine a light on him. So. He's shining a light on Jamaica. So. He, and and from a club perspective, mm -hmm. it might be true. Yeah, I mean, Come on. But yeah. So why? Do you want to play for Jamaica? Why can't you say that? Uh, you think a Brazilian could say that? I don't think he does enough for the Jamaica team. Mm -hmm. So it's neither here for me. Here or there for me. But he, he wants to play. You don't think he wants to play for Jamaica? You know, I, I wonder who wants to. Who wants two more? Who wants two more? You think Leon Bailey needs Jamaica? I think Jamaica needs Leon Bailey. I think neither. The show must go on. Yes. Regardless. And I think that it's a team sport and that individualistic mindset of uh, bringing that conditions apply and you want to fly. Is, is he Jamaica's best player? Is he Jamaica's best player? No, I don't think so. Who is Jamaica's best player? Who is Jamaica's best player? Is it Demari? I think Demari is a better player than him. <laughs> yes. I think Mikel Antonio for his position, although he's not producing. If, no, if Mikel Antonio were playing for a traditional English team with 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 wingers, yeah. wide wingers yeah. and and long distance uh midfield passers, yeah. then Antonio would be our best yeah. player. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. But, but within the Jamaican bungle ball set. We're sh we're shopping for um, what's his name? What Mason the guy? Mates the green one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Bailey has quality. He's I don't see it for Jamaica yet. If I were to watch Leon Bailey's Jamaica the... highlight reel, yeah. it wouldn't show me much. He's he's one of the better players. Yes. I think that with his talent, we can go further yeah. or even produce more. I think he should be in the national setup. Yes. But if you don't have that team mentality and willing to go out there and sacrifice, and I mean, then without all of that being said 
was gone in the beer. Yeah, I think that it, it would be good for him and Jamaica for him to be in the side. But with that mindset, and I said the show must go on, we have, yes. to, we have to move forward from that. So if Liam Bailey doesn't want to be a part of the setup, then we can't force him to. And again, I said it's, it's not a one man band. It's a team sport, and we see where the likes of less talented players like Damon Lowe going out there and giving his all, playing with his heart and his passion. Yes. I mean, a man like that should be out there and representing the country. Mm. So it, yeah. it goes on in Yeah, but, but Leon's technical level is high. Is, yeah, you have to give it. It's higher than most. And, and so if properly utilized by the coach, because mm. I'm I, I, I going to put some light on the coach, you know. Mm. Wait, yeah, call, there's a caller. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Prama Sports. One crime. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> call, aren't you on the wrong side of the? You're not. You're on the wrong side of the call. <laughs> well, well, I'm here. I'm here. But I, I just got up to some some news. Yes, yes. Ranting. Oh, ranting. Right. That's it. That's was, strong that's term. A strong term. <laughs> Sounds like you have a rant. Sounds like you have a rant. What's that? Go ahead. It sounds like you have a rant. Go ahead. Me? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not over the topic. You know, to be honest, you know, I, I, I basically given my views on, on really on, on and 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 I have left it up here. I don't think Billy should be back in a program regardless of us. Mm. I mean, oh, we're all human and we make mistakes. So hold on, hold on, hold on the, hold on the caller. One second. Are you saying that because the guy is arrogant, because the guy is cocky, mm. because he's out of order, mm. you, 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 you're going to make that affect football? Yeah. Um, Everybody's human. Yeah, I, 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 it's, I, I, it's what you said, you know. I know. It's being said, you know. I know, but... Okay, so so there's a history, but there's a history, but let's talk about no. Jamaica needs its best players because we, we are about to enter a qualifying season. Yeah. Um, this is our best chance of making a World Cup. Better than the France chance, you know. Be way better. This is our best chance of making a World Cup. And you are saying you are going to make because this youth have an ego, because this youth spoiled, because this youth cocky. You're going to say you're going you're going to impair Jamaica's chances of having its strongest team? That's what I'm saying. He, he's human. He's... But, but, but Argentina have a host of strikers to choose from. We don't have a we host don't of have a, host we don't of have, We're not spoiled for cho choice, boss. Yeah. We don't have an, a replacement for Leon Bailey. And let's look Mason Greenwood. Yeah. Mason Greenwood is a perfect replacement. Yeah. But we don't have a choice for Leon Bailey. He's a speedy winger who can cut inside I and shoot chance. from the left, from the right side. Bobby Reed? Bobby Reed is more of a worker. So. <laughs> yeah, no. Different, different, no. Different Bobby tool Reed set. cannot replace Leon Bailey. A different toolkit that. We can play a system that is not suited for Leon. Mm. And we are going to put him on the field regardless. And he's going to look like a puppy show. No, he's part of the system. I don't agree with you. I, I can't agree with you. But even so. And we probably would have won. We probably would have lost, and we probably would have won. Well, instead of going in probables, <laughs> the case is 
Liam Bale is human. I agree, but as I said, I won't write him off total yet. Clearly, the consensus is that he's in the wrong. Yes. GFF has a part of the blame to it as well. You know, I mean, the runnings of GFF is not. I think that's a red ring. Yeah. It, it, the, man, the man broke curfew yeah. in disrespect the coach, yeah. and he should be punished. Yeah. He's been punished. Why him can't return? Yeah. I said, take the man back. Remember, you know, he wasn't banished, you know, he wasn't banished, you know, he was, he was suspended. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two different things. And he's young, he's young, he's human. He clearly made mistakes and says some things in a, in a wrong light. Yes. It, do, it, it doesn't matter, sir. Oh, all I'm trying to... Yeah. That's correct. Yes. And you decide to keep, you decide to choose your party, a dance hall party, over Copa. I don't think that's the choice. I think I think you would choose to the board. I think you would try to the board. That's the choice. You try to the board. But, but, no, no, that's a different saga. But let me just say, let, let me just say one thing. Right. Let me just say one thing. I, I understand what you're saying, and I'm equally upset with um with with Leon. We all know he's wrong, and we all vexed with him. But at the same time, the football must come first, in my opinion. And 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 to me, it's important that Jamaica has its strongest team. This is a challenge we have in front of us now. We have to beat Nicaragua, Panama, Guatemala, Honduras, Costa Rica. Costa Rica, yeah. yeah, all these guys are going to be coming for us, yeah. and there's only what three spots available, yeah. something like that. Damn, damn, yeah, damn, 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 a lot of Cuba, all over the Cuba, world. Haiti, no man, we need, we need everybody. Let me tell you something. Yeah, and we need everybody on board. Fra yeah, yeah. I know, I but Froggy, can I tell you something? Froggy. Yes. Yes. And Jeff, if I can keep it, Barry is mindful of what you're going to do going forward. If you're going to bend the rules for Leon Bailey, yes. What are you basically telling everybody else who, are you, who you are inviting? No, I, I understand what you're saying about discipline and all these things, but I just want to say something. When you manage people, especially talented people, sometimes you have to deal with a lot of personalities. Yeah, yeah. You have to learn to form a team. Your skill as a manager depends on you being able to work with different types of people. Yeah. In the military, you can just give an order and it must be followed. But in the world, you're dealing with all kinds of people. Yeah. Um, sometimes, I, I, I understand well, that. Liam Bale is one of our better players. And we, we, would, we would use his talents wisely. Yes. Out there. We, we I think Carl Grimson mm. is a smart enough man to know that ego comes yeah. last. Yeah. Don't worry about your ego. Yeah. As, Jamaica must win. And you have to have a little ego to reach to yeah, man. certain yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, I mean, I mean, Kane is not the, the most pleasant person to be around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I do have an ego. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Carla, we're getting the wrap-up signal. Uh, All up, right, take up, it easy. Thanks for the call. Yeah. But as I said, Liam Bill is human. Yeah, man. He clearly made a mistake. Said yeah. Some things that he shouldn't have said, but I don't think this is the end. No. And, and we're all vexed with him, and we, we want revenge. Him, but we want revenge. But guess what we want, no? We want to qualify for yeah, World, World Cup, Cup even yeah, more. Man. That's I, what I'm saying. I want him to replicate that form for us. Yes, man. In a Jamaica shirt. Yes, man. So, Al Grimson, mm. have a challenge. How come this boy is doing so well mm -hmm. for Aston? He must can do it mm -hmm. for me. Go, go out there and make yeah. ball to the talk. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. So me feel. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, man. Come to the end of another show. Uh, yeah. And yeah. we apologize to the people who we went over time, yeah, man. Yeah, but we know. We'll get back five next time. <laughs> <laughs> Who's cool. next? Yeah. I'm not even sure. I think, I, it's DJ, I think it's DJ Q. Is it DJ Q? I mean, that's us from Primal Sports Dex. Again, we want to big up the listeners on Fit FM 96.7. I mean, the Primal 4K app. YouTube, Facebook, the world. And next week, we'll ha I'll have my co-host back in studio and he'll give us a rundown of the table tennis championships, the senior and junior 
that just concluded. What do you mean? Record. Busy doing a stellar job in the dumb rep, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> next week, you can stay tuned for that. And again, as I said, we'll have more NBA talk. We'll see where the EPL shaping up. Um, Champions League first leg will this week. So that's and the track and field season is, is, is picking up. And summer, we have the Paris Olympics. You, you know, the ICC World I want to talk summer. about um, 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 you and Blake's, uh, what's uh, it, 10.5 seconds? Say, but that's next week. Say that for next week. But again, peace. One look from the Primal Sports X and stay safe. Peace.